What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 241 on my journey to 1800 ELO. So, I hope you enjoy today's video. Let's uh, jump right into it. 15-10 game. We lost our last game um, against a pretty tough opponent. Um, we'll play a London. Good luck, my friend, from Ukraine. So, more than likely, they are going to put a bishop out here. Um, play E. I mean, all right. We will block. I think it's still better to put my bishop actually on d3. And I kind of played that fast, but um, I think it is a little more accurate to do that. So I want to get my other knight out, and I also want to castle. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I had put my bishop on d3 now. Move like this attacks the bishop. He takes my bishop. I take with the queen. If I do this, he takes, I take. We'll ask the bishop what it wants to do. And it looks like my opponent just wants to back up. That's okay with me. Um, so if I do this and he takes, and I take, he would have to move his knight here, is what I see. Um, I'm going to develop my other knight. Okay. So I'm going to put this knight in the center of the board. Um, if he takes with the knight, it's a fork, so he can't do that. If he takes with the bishop, I can take with the pawn. Okay, so that was probably smart that he took with the bishop first, so he didn't have to worry about that. <clears throat> um, now I would like to castle. That would be cool. Um, looks like he just wants to keep trying to take my pieces. If I do this, it messes up his pawn structure. If I do this, it messes up his pawn structure as well. So if I take, he recaptures. What am I doing in this scenario? If I take here, he takes. Uh, I mean, we'd end up trading everything if I keep doing stuff like that. I could kick the knight out, and then he takes. I'd recapture with the queen. Um, if I took here, he takes with the king. Check. He just has this move. Yeah, and I don't have anything. Okay. I'm going to take this knight. I don't want his knight to be in the middle of the board strong like that. Um... So, I'm feeling all right. I can castle. I can also do this. Um, and then we just get to kind of an end game. This messes up his pawn structure even more. But it opens up this file.
we'll just do this. He's playing really fast. I'm not playing slow either. Um, so if he takes, I take. I think I'm okay with that. Um, I can move my queen in here if I want to. Um, I'm going to just castle and... Yeah, like I said, if he takes, I'll take back with my pawn. I'll be fine with that structure. Okay. So he chooses to not um, to not take my bishop. I don't really want to take him because then he just corrects his pawn structure. Um, so there's that. I also think that we could maybe get our pawns pushed a little bit. Um, if I move my queen here, I just don't like this pawn. I'm going to, um, move my rook to this file. I'm expecting that this file will come open at a point, um, but maybe it won't. I'm not sure. So I can go about this a few different ways. I think an easy way is to just push the pawn. Um, I could throw it up all the way if I want to. Um, I guess he has a move like this. In which case, I would just move my rook probably to one of these two squares, I guess. If he takes, I'm okay with that. Actually, we trade a pawn then. So, actually, now would be a decent time for him to do that. Probably. Um, so, he's attacking my, um, my rook. I'm going to just set up on a light square. And I'm thinking about trying to close out his bishop. So I'm thinking about playing a move like this next, depending on what he wants. You know, I think he needs to move the bishop. If he just backs it up here, this is not hanging, so keep telling myself that it's hanging. It's not hanging. So if he just backs up here, boom, it gives him time to get out. He, he has time to not trap his bishop, but I'm just looking at the fact that his bishop's going to be maybe not very good okay so I'm imagining that he's gonna take my bishop now So this is defended still. <clears throat> Again, defended. This pawn could be defended as well. This, however, is... So do I want to play g3 to protect the pawn? Do I want to do this? If I do that, the rook can get in, actually. So I think that I want to prep first. I guess he can play this now. I need to be careful. I'm not playing very carefully takes 
takes Like, he's just got a lot of pawns hanging now. Um, yeah, I would really like to play a3, b4. That would be probably nicer than anything. So he's attacking the pawn. I think I can just maybe move my king forward. And if I have to, I can even bring a rook to this side of the board. But I think we're okay. If he pushes, I'll take can't take this right now I guess if he pushes I can take this way that would probably be a little bit smarter um, so I'm going to um, put I don't know if I really want my rook there um, I want to defend this pawn I don't really know what I want to defend it with but I want to defend it I also want to put this rook behind um, I want to put this rook here and bring this rook over to d1. So I'm assuming maybe he wants to push this pawn or something. I don't know. I want to try to win this pawn. I guess he just has a move like this to defend it. If he does that, I can try and get in here maybe. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is just a double attack on two pawns. Now that I've made sure that this is defended maybe that's okay um so this works now technically or do i just try and come in like this i think i do this first threatening it um i don't really want to trade queens but i can keep the pressure up um this allows this rook now to come over to d1 which is where i want it anyways my rook's in the center of the board just pressuring down the files whoops <clears throat> His queen is almost, like, trapped. Look, if I played this... So, I can literally win this right now. And I guess what he was doing was... I mean, he's putting pressure on this, so, I mean, I guess he can just back up if he doesn't want to trade queens. Alright, so we're up a pawn. It's a rook, a rook end game. He's got doubled pawns. Now we're up two pawns. We want to double up. No, we don't. We want to defend. Uh, 
Um, I guess he's threatening to come in here. But, um... Takes, takes... I could be greedy and take the pawn. He comes in. I go up. I'm going to be greedy and take a pawn. I'm up three pawns. I think he needs to defend his pawns. So that was a wild way to throw the game right there at the end. Um, I know we were completely winning, but I don't think he needed to do that. We played a really good game, 91.1% accuracy, so definitely a good game. Um, we had two inaccuracies, so we can see kind of where we went wrong. Night move, a little incorrect. We can definitely just go with E3 e, uh, like we normally do. I just thought getting developed is fun. Um, it actually is the best move to put the bishop on e2 in this position to break the pin, so good to know. I'm d and the reason I played it so fast was because I'm okay to trade the bishop for the bishop. Like, I'm okay with that. Um, I actually like my knight a little more um, than I like the bishop sometimes playing the London. Um, I didn't know if this was one of those cases, but it felt kind of like it would be. And really, the bishop is just annoying, so um, I don't know. My queen on this square is not a bad square either, so I thought maybe it was a bad move to put the bishop in front of the queen like that because if I did recapture with the bishop, if you took the knight, I would be staring at a a uh, a wall of pawns. So we develop, we get our knight in the center. He takes, which is the best move. He brings his knight in. We take messing up his pawn structure. I then decide to further mess up his pawn structure. And I castled because I wanted him. I, I didn't want to do this because it just fixes his pawns. I didn't want to do that at all. Um, we castle because I want him to actually take my bishop. And I want to take the pawn. That was my thought. Um, we got in a little bit of a predicament where I moved my rook over to the open file, or to what I thought would be a semi-open file eventually. Um, but really, in all odds, um, the rook is going to end up here, and I needed to just try and defend this pawn. It actually would have been fine to do this. That would have been fine, and that would have solved all my problems. I actually dealt with this little issue for a little too long. Like I, I played it like this, where my queen defends, and it kind of sucks that my queen's defending. So I shouldn't have done it like that. It was by far better to just do this and build up. Um, uh, yeah, I should have immediately tried to do that. Um, I slid the rook over, which is apparently not the best move. Um, I would never have put my rook all the way over there. I did kind of have... Okay, so again, it's just like, get your queen to stop defending that piece. Um, I wanted him to take my bishop um, here. I played this, but I think queen takes the pawn is the best move. Yep. Um, and that makes sense. The reason I didn't do it was because I lost defense of this pawn. But all in all, not a terrible thing. Um, I could bring this rook over and we can trade it off if we have to. Um, I brought the king forward, which is not the best move. It actually is saying, go ahead, take it. I'm going to win more. Um, and this pawn is uh, going to be a passer, is, I guess, the argument. I liked what we did um, here. Just decided to win the pawn. So here, I didn't really see what his thought was, moving the queen there. Um, but it was actually to take this pawn, right? I mean, I could have done what I wanted to do anyways and get the rook to the center, which is what I wanted to do. But taking the pawn was the best move while we could because he did have this being set up as well. This hung another pawn. He brought a rook over. I brought a rook over. This actually says just take pawns. Don't worry about that pawn. You're going to be up. Um Took the pawn here. He just hung his rook. I have no idea why he did that. I think he meant to play... Rookie two, probably. Um, 
but yeah, we played like an 1800. My opponent played like a 1350. Um, yeah, pretty decent game by us. My opponent played a really good game too. He just really messed up there right at the end of the game. So we're back up to 1218, which is not a peak. We're one point away from a peak, but it makes up for our loss yesterday, which is nice. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be on track to win another game tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Thank you.